Welcome to another Dihon Vibe review. I'm Dihon, and today we're gonna get started on a Roadhog. Looks like he's with here with another TTV person, EV TTV. Shout out to EV or Evie. So he's gonna come out here, stalls a little bit, but keeps going. I feel like we're. I feel like in this play we're like we're backing up when we could be a little more aggressive here. Goes for a hook, unlucky. We do have a pick, so we should be pushing in a little bit more. Instead we're kinda of playing slow and waiting for that person to come back. Ooh, yeah. So this is the first thing that we need to work on. How do you hit Roadhog's one hit combo? Well, as soon as you land and hit a hook, you need to W forward. And then you want all of your bullets to be hitting center body mass. So for us, we were up on this car here. But if we stood on the car and when we hook that mercy, walk forward and then shoot, we will probably confirm the kill a lot more than what ended up happening there. And that would have made it a 5v3 and we definitely would have just won the fight if we kept walking forward. I'm lucky. It's okay to miss some hooks. The one thing I like about the hog though is he's not focusing the Orisa. Orisa's never going to die if you just keep shooting at her. Um, as a Roadhog you need to be looking at the other people and focusing them. That's good. And see for the most part we're good at landing the, uh, the hooks and it looks like we're, we know how to hit, hit it. The only thing I would say we're not doing is Wing forward when we hit them. And then yeah, this is just clean up. Honestly, I probably would have just walked a point there to, to cap quicker. May not seem like much, but capping quicker could just allow your team more... Ooh, unlucky. Could allow us just more time in uh, overtime. Every second counts, you know. Wouldn't say this is bad either. Yeah, we're a little slow with the one-hit combo from Roadhog. But we're still good. And then, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that was good. I'd say all of that was pretty good. We seem a little lost here. We should be rotating to the high ground here and just staging a good spot for our team to be fighting next. That may should be dead. We also probably should have just been shooting just to... One, one she was low, right? So she probably could have died uh, if we just shot at her so we wouldn't have to waste hook. And two, it could have just scared her back a little bit more. Yeah, this is bad. We get out of here, though. Perfect. I would probably keep pushing cart, yeah. Probably push as far as we want. Here, I would probably start rotating back, though. Yeah. Yeah, you got... Honestly, we probably lived through this, too. And get the mercy. Ooh, unlucky. Easy. Our aim could be a little bit better. Instead of us like going for flick hooks, maybe we should try and just place our cursor on people. I feel like that mercy wasn't moving up much. So if we honestly just tracked and then placed our cursor on her, we probably would have connected a lot easier. good too yeah i like the rotate around it's really good get the mercy Ooh, unlucky it doesn't even matter that they're popping ults this is honestly actually good for us because they're wasting all of their ults recontesting a lost fight that's okay like i said it doesn't matter they used all their ults on uh lost fight anyways honestly we should be able to just come back and win the fight because we have spawn advantage Nice. Yeah. 
I like how aggressive we're being with Hog. We definitely know that they shouldn't be able to bully us, and they're not bullying us at all. That was good on the Moira to, you know, heal us and save us with Coalescence, and yeah. I feel like we can be shooting a little more. I feel like we're never playing with an empty ammo clip. I'm not saying you should always have an empty ammo clip, but I think there's a couple instances where we definitely could be getting a couple more shots out in fights. Even if it's the pressure or something like that Reaper teleporting there, or even that Reaper right there, yeah. Just another tip, this might help you just in the future. If you are going to hook a Reaper, it's very tough to hit a one-shot on him. So I would advise right-clicking at him before you hook, and then try to land the hook immediately after. That will bring him down to probably two-thirds health, and then you should be able to get him with the one-shot combo then. If not, that's cool too. It's just going to make it a lot harder, that's all. Good. We didn't need to use our breather there. Oh, piece of cake. Good. Very good. Yeah, I would just be walking forward into them, though. Perfect. Good. Nice. Yep. Very good. Good hook. Yeah, here I would just fight the hog. Yeah, all this is really good. Honestly, I wouldn't even say we really need much coaching, if anything. I'd say so far, it's all pretty good. Like I said, the only thing is maybe our one-shot co combos could be better, and maybe we could be outputting a little more damage during poke fights and stuff, and playing just a little more aggressive. If you guys are enjoying the this kind of content, like and subscribe. I appreciate it a lot, and I can also help you guys grow. Okay, so I don't like where we're standing on defense here. I would prefer we play on some kind of high ground. We should, probably should be playing here, or even here. I don't like this position. This position is kind of, in my opinion, it's pretty bad. But let's see how you play it. Okay, so we're going for a flank route. We just lost a pick. That's good. We got the pick back, so that's cool. Yeah, except... Okay, so they back out. Very good. Yeah, we didn't need to fight there. That's their spawn. So I'd say as soon as we hit the Mercy and kill her, yeah, these guys are staggers, but we didn't need to keep running into them, right? Okay, so we lost our Mercy here, right? And we lost our Widow. So even if we're trying to go for these staggers, this right now is a 4v3. We're losing this fight. So on defense, the like number one thing that you want to do is remember, we're not fighting for kills and deaths. Or even damage. The main thing we're fighting for is this time here. So that means on defense, you're trying to die as slow as possible. And on attack, you're trying to win as quick as possible if you're on attack. And so in this case, us pushing in here is actually just a faster way for us to die. Which means that they're just, they're doing what they want to do. And that's win the team fights as quickly as possible. So really, as soon as the, these two picks happened, we should have backed up. We should have been kiting away. And maybe, you know, because of how forward this fight is, by the time we end up hiding all the way back here, our spawn people will probably get to here, and they'll probably be back with us already. And then we'll, you know, we'll fight there. And there you go, that's two, two team fights on first point, without them even getting a tick or anything. But us pushing into here, this causes us to feed, and then because of it, now they can push in, and they probably will get on point before us, if I had to guess. I'd say another thing is you fought that Reaper. If you fought him literally standing here instead of where you were standing, he'd be out of the Widow's sight. You know, that probably could have changed the fight a little bit too, because you wouldn't have died. But yeah, they res. They get all the kills. They're coming back. Your two people on attack are staggering right now because they're not grouping up with you guys. 
and yeah, they're on point for you guys. And so what could have turned into two team fights on first point, we ended up turning into only one team fight on first point and they cap because of it and us overextending there so it was good for us to hook the reaper but as soon as we couldn't get that kill we needed to back up immediately and we should have just we shouldn't have repeaked there's no point in repeating right because one the whole enemy knows we're here they know we're rounding that corner two we don't have hook so there's no insta kill we're gonna do three they already have point so there's no need for us to actually go for a fight here right because if we if we get if we kill him here they end up spawning here there's no benefit to us fighting them there instead we should wait until maybe here you know this is a pretty good choke fight them or here you know they probably are gonna with you dead they probably push out kill everyone and they probably end up pushing through this big choke for free so us going back in for that hook really wasn't the play there and we should have just played it safer like i said focus on defense we had a really good offense but on defense we need to focus on playing slow so that we burn more time so that they reach overtime quicker because right now they got five whole minutes to push it to the end and we are not slowing that down at all all right yeah so we just lost our may looks like our junk rats in trouble yeah they rounded the first corner that i said might be a good place to hold we just lost our junk rat, so now we're down here. That's good. I'd say this is good. This is alright. Um Yeah, that was good. I can I'm okay with this. That's not bad. I respect the the hope that we were going for on the mercy. That was a good ult cancel. Good. Yeah. I'd say we played that that pretty well. I'd say we definitely know how to fight as hog. Like I said before, our issue is it's not how to fight as hog. It's where and when. Again, we did the exact same thing we wanted to do. Okay. We end up getting a kill for it, but still, that was scary. In of itself. If our, um, if the Reaper was better at what he does, he probably would have just raped the hook and then he would have killed you. I mean, we're doing pretty well here for, you know, what we're doing. In higher lobbies, I'd say this probably gets punished pretty, pretty quick. But right now we're doing pretty well with it. Oh, they're C9-ing us, so that's something. Again, because we're holding so far up, they're C9-ing us. Dang, this is such a long C9, actually. Okay, do we notice the C9? No, we don't notice the C9. So we just, we just give up point because of the C9. <laughs> It'd be funny if we were still waiting in spawn and they just bullshit everything. Yeah, so that's that's another reason why you don't play too overextended if the point's what you're playing against, right? Overwatch is an objective-based game, so you can't just be playing for the kills. Like I said earlier, you gotta be playing for the point and the time. So even though, yeah, we're going in and we're fragging out, it's not the kills we worry about. It's the objective sometimes. And it looks like we're gonna try and spawn camp again. We just lost a Moira, so I wouldn't say this is great. Just got the Moira back, so maybe maybe we got something here. We lost the Moira again. We're hacked, and we're dead because we're overextended and they have a Sombra. If I had to, to like summarize our like play style, it seems like we're just playing a Call of Duty spawn camp style, which sometimes works. Usually not on payload maps though. 
Usually on control point maps it works. We need to pay attention to the kill feed a little more too. I'm able to just see if the team's fight's like winning or losing by just looking top right. And whether it's winning or losing, we're just full sending it. I wouldn't say Valking Mercy was a good thing to get there. I'd say probably the Hog is. And <laughs> I didn't even realize, but they they see 90 you, you again because you guys don't care about the point at all. When did that start happening? And they have a Sombra too, so you should you should expect them to see 90 you guys. But yeah, why are we playing here when the payload's back here, right? The Sombra's gonna touch it. Why aren't we playing like here? I get that this is like a decent choke. Isn't this a better choke to hold them at? I mean, come on, they can literally only walk through here. If you're holding here, you're holding there, there. I mean, oh, hell, they could walk all the way over here if they wanted to. But yeah, so the Sombra at apparently 1 minute and 30 seconds left just decided she's gonna C9 you guys because you don't care about point at all. So I think I know the issue. The issue is we don't play objective at all, and we need to. We need to start playing objective. I'm gonna be honest, objective is also like the tanks, like while your support should be focusing on objective as well, the reason the objective was C9 in the first place was because of how aggressive you were holding as a tank. You choose where the fights happen, right? You choosing to fight there just made it so your backline couldn't stay on cart, which led you guys open to C9s. So we're probably playing around the same spot. Our main's doing good, protecting us. Shout out to Heavy TTV. So for that fight, we took the fight a couple wrong places. Yeah, we were fighting down here, but we weren't using any natural cover. We were just fighting around the cover. Their hog was playing the cover. So if I run it back, and your may had to make cover for you because you were so exposed. Like, you're not playing with any cover around you. And we're going aggressive again. Again, we're going aggressive for no reason. We're going super aggressive into the Reaper, but... We're on defense. We should wait for them to use resources. The whole reason why defense has an advantage in this game is because defense can just wait for them to use resources, right? So imagine if Reaper had to teleport in, and then we hook him, and then he has to wraith out. Well, now he can't come back in, so he's essentially out of the fight. You know, you don't have to worry about him flanking your backline anymore because of that. Or maybe maybe he teleported in, we hook him, he wraiths, and now May, May puts up a ice wall so he can't get out. We we get a free Reaper pick just because he'd had to use his ability first. We're choosing to play like an attacker and we're using our hook first. But us using our hook first in this fight caused their Roadhog to then hook us. Which then caused our May to use the wall. And then, yeah, we'll go here. And then they beat us to point. It's a little ugly. Yeah, our team splits. We're like in all over the place. This, this widow is free. Yeah. So all of that resource basically used here allowed them to just beat us to point here. Because we're playing an aggressive thing. If you just played at this corner right here and we just waited until they like rounded the corner and then cherry picked them and pulled them over here. Who's going to heal? Them? Same deal if we, you know, chill here and they're like looking to shoot us. Like the hog's not going to stand all the way over here and hook you. He's probably going to die. He's he's got no cover with him. But you're standing here though and they got all the cover. Anywhere they want to be, they they can hide from you. Even if their whole team was here, 
the hog just walked in and body blocked you because you were in the middle of the team while your whole team was here hiding in the corner. I think we're playing a little too fight picky on hog, I'd say. We need to know how to play the game slow on defense. Because I'd say we have a great mentality on attack, you know? We're trying to go in, we're trying to win the fights quick. That's exactly what you want. Now I'm surprised we actually end up holding this. I thought for sure it was a lost fight. Not bad. Like I said, would have liked us to fire a little more shots before hooking the Mercy, just to get some more resource out, maybe on the Hog too. Yeah, this Hog is by himself, he can die. Going for the Mercy is good there too. Can't get rezzed. Um, that Widow is picking your old team up. That's very good. Okay, so is this a win? Good hook to cancel the heal. Wow, he did... He did exactly what you did. That's funny. And so we cap. Yeah, so in general, I would say the things we need to work on is on defense. Playing a little slower because we are doing well. The issue was we were pushed up too far and so they were able to get some C9s just because of how aggressive we were playing. I'd like us to shoot a little more in the mid phase, but the targets that we're going for hooks on are the targets we should be going for hooks on so definitely keep doing that yeah i'd say that's about it for you know what we can work on hopefully this all helps hopefully we end up you know climbing because of it